Go ahead. So, Bismillah um, This is a summary of this. The second, not quite half, but uh, after of Surah Fatiha. It's not really, um, you know, uh, halfway down the, uh, the, the Surah. Um, after the first three verses, which are about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, Surah Fatiha turns into a dua, and uh, it starts off by Ihdina uh, Sirat al Mustaqim. No, sorry, Iyaka Na'abudu wa Iyaka Na'abudu. So, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been, has been exalted, and we clearly identify that He is the Master of the Day of Judgment, then we move to Iyaka Na'abudu wa Iyaka Na'abudu. And uh, here um, we start a conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A dua, but a conversation, a, a very personal conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we, when we ask Him, the, we, we inform Him actually, Thee alone we worship, and Thee alone we ask for help. Um, and the point that was uh, uh, made here was that, yes, um, indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one we ask for help, but um, it is also, um, you know, the, the, the asbab and the um, different avenues that are the vasilas and the asbab and the avenues that are on earth are also um, actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's system through which this help, help is sought. And uh, a further point that was made was that uh, there are people who uh, don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all and their life is all about the means. Uh, so for them, uh, taking a recipe or a medicine or whatever um, help, uh, their entire focus is that person or that drug or that source of income. So for them, there is nothing else. Uh, and then there are other people who are the majority who uh, do recognize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made these avenues um, the method by which we achieve his blessing and then we know that it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we go to these means to our boss or to uh, you know whatever resource there is uh, the medicine to, to feel better uh, and then finally there are those people who um, are so connected and are so at a, set, at, a, at a level where for them they just have a one-on-one -on -one where they don't even go to the means um, and those are the, uh, the exception but they do exist. And instead of taking the medicine, they just simply make du'as. Um, and then we went to Iyaka Na'abado wa Iyaka Nastain. But before that, I, I really want to um, go back and say I missed talking about the alone we worship. Um, and this is actually a very uh, heavy point. Um, you know, we, we say this in our salah um, multiple times every day. And uh, if we were to internalize this uh, very, very deep and heavy verse, Iyaka Na'abudu, um, our lives would transform. Um, I would say that much uh, because, you know, we do have other things we worship too. Um, uh, unfortunately, these are our minor ilahs, you know, our jobs and our uh, wealth and our fame and our glory and our power. So if we were to really understand uh, this, 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 when we're saying this, you alone we worship, then we would really get away from these minor worships these, uh, that we talk about every single day in our lives. And then, of course, what's the straight path? The straight path, we said, is the easiest path. Um, um, it is, and we have to believe that this is the easiest path, for there are so many people who, uh, again, Say, Eden as Sirat al Mustaqim. They ask Allah SWT in this glorious, amazing dua uh, to show us the straight path. Um, and then, when Allah SWT shows them the straight path, uh, they're finding it difficult to walk on it. So, uh, we have to believe and we need to be convinced, uh, really uh, deep inside, that this is indeed the straight path. And then we said that the straight path is the easiest or the shortest path, and we need to believe that. And then, what is this path? And this path is, uh, again, the dua continues, Salat al-Lazina namta alayhim, the path of 
those whom thou has favored. Um, and uh, then we um, went to uh, Surah Nisa, uh, verse uh, 69, and elaborated upon the uh, definition in a way of who are these people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, favored. And um, I will actually read that uh, because it is really important. And again, going to Surah Nisa, verse 69, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يُتِعُ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ وَلَيْهِمْ مِنْ نَبِّيِّينَ وَالصَّادِقِينَ وَالشُّهَدَاءَ وَالصَّالِحِينَ وَحَسْنَ وَحُسْنَ وَحَسْنَ أُولَٰئِكَ رَفِيقًا In translating this, and this is those who Allah SWT has favored, um, whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger, they are those unto whom Allah had showed favors of prophets and the saints and the martyrs and the righteous, the best of the company they are. And it is actually um, in the next verse, Allah SWT says that this is the true guidance, true bounty. Uh, you know, so so He clarifies that not only this is those on whom he has favored, but these are also the, also the people who have received the true bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, um, of course, um, going back to the Fatiha, let me just pull that up. Of course, I know it, but just to <coughs> keep my mind clear. Um, so we talked about Salat al Dina and Um and an important point that was made uh, by uh, Professor Omar was that we should uh, try our best to, to seek the company of these people because if, especially the last category, the Salihin, and you know the prophets are there no longer, the, the martyrs or the witnesses, the people who witness, you could say the martyrs or the people who shahada who witness, again, you know, <coughs> if they're martyrs you can't be with them. Um, Siddiqeen, again, very far and few between, very rare. You know, we, we may not be able to identify the Siddiqeen, but we clearly have within us the Salihin. We clearly have uh, this, the wealth is still there, and we need to identify the Salihin, and we need to be with the Salihin, because then, then you, as I was telling uh, Professor yesterday, the other day, that these are the spiritual billionaires. And you know, if you hang out with a billionaire, uh, he is either going to show you how to be a billionaire, or he's going to give you some of your wealth. So these are the spiritual billionaires. And so, if you spend time with the salihin, with the scholars, or and you don't have to be the you know true identified scholars, but they can be you know unassuming people who are connected with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in amazing ways. So once you identify these people, you should really try to go out of your way to be in their company because they will give you some of their spiritual wealth. And then, of course, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, uh, So, uh, please, uh, again, the dua continues, do not, um, well, not, not those, do not show us the path, or do not lead us on the path on which your anger um, befell. The path, the path uh, of those favor, but not those who earn thy anger. And we, we elaborate on this, that, that although um, it is not uh, grammatically said that it is Allah's anger, but it is implied that this is the, these are the people on which Allah's anger befalls. And, uh, and we, we ask Allah SWT to not be among those people. And then lastly, um, and those who have have gone astray. And so, you know, the implication there is that at, at one time, these people knew the path. They were on the path. And so you stray from the path when you were on the path at one stage. And so these are people who were walking on the path, but they have diverted off. They have gone away from the path and sometimes very far away. So we can ask Allah SWT not to make us those on whom the anger comes down and not to make us those who we are from the Sarapikul Sarapikul Okay, very good. Alhamdulillah. Comments?